Okay, uh, I'm in Huayjo, but uh, I really didn't see any of it. I just stayed in the hotel for one night to rest, and now I'm going to Shenzhen. I wish I had more time here. It looks like an interesting city, but uh, I gotta press on. This storyline, the one that follows me from, um, uh, I think it was Jian all the way here, is, is or from Ganjo. The storyline that follows me from Ganjo all the way here is almost ending uh, the big long ride. I think I'm gonna name it Trailer Trouble. <laughs> that has definitely been a bane. When I get to Shenzhen, I'm gonna settle in for a while. Annie has, uh, is having holidays, so she decided to come and visit, which is great. And we are going to uh, accomplish some goals in Shenzhen. So it's about 89 kilometers, almost 100. So it'll be a good day's ride. Uh, as long as the trailer makes it to there, hopefully I can find a solution when I get there. So uh, I am on the side of the road at the border of Shenzhen. So I'm about to enter Shenzhen. Uh, this is far different from anywhere I've been so far. Uh, there's, there's McDonald's, there's Western culture, there's a lot more friendly people willing to reach out and talk to you and uh, in some cases bug you. This morning I just kind of wanted to ride and, and there was like a lot of people that wanted to talk or uh, be part of the adventure somehow and I just kind of wanted to keep going. But uh, I am glad I'm going into Shenzhen because it seems like everybody coming out of Shenzhen is, is having some traffic problems. <laughs> Uh, you know, I think that this traffic jam extends about a hundred kilometers all the way through uh, Huejo. It's crazy. I, I feel like that black car right there is going to be in traffic for the next 12 hours or even a day. It's crazy. The city is great and has personality, but there's a certain peacefulness in the countryside that you don't get here. A, a little, although it, it has some dirty moments, it's, it's natural, you know? It's, uh, it's busy in the city. Okay, so uh, for the last few hours, actually, I've been bucking uh, like city traffic, which is something I really haven't had to contend with, like actual highway driving. I set Google Maps up to tell me the, uh, the walking route, and the walking path put me on like all these uh, raised highways and elevated highways. So I couldn't exactly do a lot of recording. It was very interesting though. But uh, now I'm about to get to my destination. And uh, I thought I should whip out the camera.
Thank you. Too hot. Where are we? Shenzhen Hongshuling. They call it Red Forest. Why are you here? I'm with Matt. How did you get here? Thanks. <laughs> so it's National Day, or National Holiday, in China, and I'm in Shenzhen. And I'm trying to take a nice little bike ride, but it's busy here, really busy. There's lots of other bikes on the road. Shenzhen is laid out like a major metropolitan city. Navigation is fairly simple and there are many options for cyclists. The ride we're on now is a coastal path that connects Futian district to Shikou. It's a fantastic 15 kilometer ride along the water with a view of Hong Kong to keep you company. Annie and I decided to follow it for a little while and then diverge to roam the city streets. Get a feel for the diverse places and the truly diverse people in Shenzhen. Something that happens in China that's not so very Chinese proud is sort of a, like the American Sioux culture. If you get in an accident, like Annie was riding her bicycle and an old lady fell off her bike next to her, and now she's claiming that she wants money because she was near to Annie, and she says Annie pushed her, even though it wasn't the case. I would go over there and do something, but as soon as they see a foreigner's face, then they feel like it's money bags, and then everything gets more complicated, so I'm kind of waiting outside, but I don't know what to do. It's stupid. So what's happening? Go, don't feel more fucker. What so what just happened? The fucking old lady, she wants to stop in front of the middle of the way and she almost fell down because her leg is too short. And then she fell down, her clothes touched my bike. You know? And I heard her head was on the floor. You know what? Don't film that. I'm not feeling no, happy. No, it's a good, it's an interesting no, story though. No, but I don't want to do this. What did she, what did she... Piss me off! What did she want? Money. So you gave her uh, 200, right? Yeah, and then she said what? not enough. I said, okay, how about call the police? We go to the hospital together. Waste our time. Yeah. You don't film this one. I, okay, go ahead. Piss me off. I will break your arm today. And that is Annie angry. You don't want to mess with angry Annie. <laughs> angry Annie is a dangerous thing.
We gotta do this again. So as we rode on through the day into the dusk, accepting the unique challenges in the city, I began to appreciate Shenzhen more and more. It's hard to deny the simple conveniences like smooth pavement, well-lit highways, bike paths, and the multitude of stores selling everything you might need. I've decided to make Shenzhen my home for the next month, so I found a small apartment and set out to make my time here worthwhile. My mission? To promote the Jio name, get into a little bit better shape, do some extracurricular activities, and prepare for the next leg of the Jio World Tour. So join me as I explore Shenzhen in Jio.